All right, we're back. I think you're going to like this one. Stay tuned. Make sure you thumbs up. Time. Timer flip. Seven times. BT system. You ain't testing. You're guessing. Puts it on Monday morning. Okay. Uh, just putting out, you know, room temperature air. Okay. Which one is it? Uh, this guy right here. This is the one we fixed. Yep, I remember. Okay. Is it on or off right now? Uh, it's so off. Okay, right, let's. It's, it, it's not short cycle, so. Okay, let's uh, turn the thermostat on, thermostat lower on. the temperature, okay. and uh, let's see what's going on. Okay. Yeah, you can grab the uh, the small tool bag and the four 10 a gauge. Yeah, right. It's working, huh? <laughs> Love me nice grottos. Look at that grotto. It's a beautiful grotto. All right, there it is. Train XL 16i. Just powered up. Hear that hum in the background? That's the compressor. So let's locate this connect. Bingo. Okay. Let's see what's doing. Mike, let's take off those two panels right there. I got money on. I got money on capacitor. Yeah, you gotta do the bottom one too. Like, what do you think? I think it's fine. Yeah. I think we could put a Band-Aid on it. Just tuck tape that back on. Yeah. Some electrical tape on? Yeah, I'll get some electric tape. How about we use the um, the Gorilla Tape? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Good stuff. All right, let's take a look at this. This is a 45 single round capacitor. And, oh, looks like we have a little hive there, too. A little hive. So, look at that nice wiry, nice burnt. Just be careful when we're removing that because you don't want to short out the low voltage. And get the needle nose. There you go. Take the, that wire off there. Before I, uh... Yeah, you may have. You should. Oh, careful, Mike. Yeah. I am not going up in an attic and replacing a fuse. You might as well just cut it. Okay. Let's take a look at this victim. So, terminal just melted away. Bad capacitor. Bad, bad capacitor. All right. Let me get wire. Let me get capacitor, wire connectors. One, two, three. All right, this is what we got. Band iron, sheet metal screws, 45 single capacitor. We have a new tool that I'm gonna use today. Haven't showed you guys before. Compliments of one of the YouTube subscribers. But check this out, it's by Klein. And it is literally a real professional crimper tool. So we're gonna use that and check this thing out. All right, so I like it, but it is missing one thing, the ability to strip the wire. That's gonna to be too small, by the way. All right, so let's see, hold that for a second. All right, we got wire, right? We have connector, good. So let's strip off the insulation first. Let's put you on there like that. And this is a yellow one. 
So let's put the yellow one right there. Oh, that is pretty cool. I like that. Do you like that? That looks nice. That looks nice. Wow, that's impressive. That is much better than the other one that I use. Okay, so we have that. We need another one to connect to over here. All right, so this wire went here. I don't like that thing. What is that thing? Does that come on a nest? It is a nest, isn't it? to get rid of electrical interference. <laughs> so let's cut this right there. Let's crimp. I mean, let's strip. Let's put connector on. Very nice. Very, very nice. Now, let's get our capacitor. Is this gonna fit on the other one did? No. All right, so that's why I brought the band on it. Okay, let's stick. Use the crimpers to cut that off. Let's get a little play on this wire. Yep, yep, play there. Let's stick you right there. Okay. And let me get this, which is a smaller gauge wire. Is that sufficient? Yes, it is. Look at that. Fits like a glove. And that's the blue. So we'll put you right there. Perfect. And let's stick you right there. Only thing that's left to do now is fire it up. But when we fire it up, we want to check amperage to see if maybe the compressor is drawing too much power. Why is Toronto, Ontario calling me? What was that? Cheap Canadian meds? Is that what you said? Probably. Probably. They do have cheaper drugs in... in, in um, or it could be in Canada. Oh, it could be. Maybe they'll talk to Keep Mikey Pipes. <laughs> Alright, Mike. Uh, plug in the disconnect. Let's check power. Is it, is it, is it three mics this morning? Just, yeah. <laughs> Why is my fan motor not coming on? Turn the power off. Why is my fan motor not coming on? It came on before. Hmm. Interesting. If I disconnect. This looks like a capacitor. Yes, a capacitor. If I disconnect the wiring to the new capacitor, which yeah, that, was burnt yeah, off, that. that's the compressor trying to start. That, yeah, right, I'll I heard it. that. I said that was something, something. Something is interfering with fan operation. And now she's working. That's odd. That's the that low noise the, the hum in the background is the compressor, yes. Yeah, this time it came on. Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be I, like that guy. <laughs> Mike, you it came on. Mike, you know. Mike, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's the master. That's the other one. 
right. That's the one where we added your your refrigerant to it. You bought it on eBay. <laughs> Walmart. You're that guy. You got a Walmart? Walmart. Walmart sold you for today? Walmart.com. $160 for 25 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love it. Well, All right. When the last... Let's unplug it again. He's got a license, right? No. No. Of course you do. You're not allowed to buy it. Well, I'm the, the Walmart. <laughs> okay, let's wait a minute. Walmart is not allowed to sell it to you. Oh, and the last guy charged me $80 a pound. I said, you know, if I could buy it. $80 a pound is a little excessive. A little excessive. All right, plug it back in. My, my original guy charged me 40 That's a little low. And I was like, all right. The average is around 60 Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, See? But he, did a t he did a lot of a lot of work for me, so I guess he maybe he felt bad. All right, so I'll plug it one more time. We'll wait three minutes this time, and then plug it back in. All right, cleaned out the electrical compartment with the Milwaukee M18 leaf blower. She's nice and clean there. It's been about five minutes. Let's plug oh, that so you, back okay, in. Okay, so you had this in your truck? Of course. It's always in the truck. Oh, <laughs> could be like, oh. All right, watch out. Just gonna take. <laughs> oh, she starts. So one attempt didn't turn, no, was it two attempts or one attempt? One attempt didn't turn on. So this, the, the condenser fan motor that you have there is um, different than others. Well, yeah, I, I think it's intermittently failing because one time it didn't turn on. And which ironically was the first time we turned it on after changing the capacitor for the compressor. This, ki this type of uh, condenser fan motor you have does not need a capacitor because it's considered an ECM motor, an electronically computated uh, motor, and it gets a 24 volt signal to turn on, but it's wired to 240 volts. Make sense? Okay. A very expensive motor. Like, very, very expensive. The reason why they put these in on our higher end systems is because they're considered more energy efficient. Yeah, I. But the, but the cost comparison. I replaced it on this yeah, one. But the two, the two years ago. Yeah. So the cost comparison between is like this is like triple the price, literally. Yeah. So when these normally die, you know if 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 it's okay with the client, I'll just put a regular 240 volt uh, fan motor in, and as long as the, the horsepower is the same, it'll do the same job. This costs more to operate, but it's half the price, more than half the price. What's cheaper? You're good. She works. Couldn't have asked for a better job to start Friday morning. Love it. Good technician is observant of his surroundings. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. St. Mike commands you to subscribe. Be well. Stay safe. God bless.